Hi, my name is Maya Trocare, and I am a medical application engineer at Materialize located in our U.S. office in Michigan. In this video, I'll walk you through how to get started with using the scripting module as a beginner. We'll first go through where to go for help and where to find existing scripts that you can take advantage of. Then I'll show you how to install Python and get your system set up properly. And finally, we'll talk about what the best practices are for scripting in 3Matic and in general. It's important for you to know you don't have to be an experienced scripter to script in Mimics or 3Matic. All you need is to know where to go and how to copy paste. The tools we have available will hopefully help you to still take advantage of the automation capabilities scripting has to offer in speeding up your workflow or that repetitive time consuming work. Let's first start with where to go for help and existing scripts, because these will most likely be a huge help in getting you familiar with scripting as a beginner. When you install Mimics, the software comes with multiple scripts we've written for you that we find to be pretty common workflows. You can find Mimics existing scripts here and Thrematic existing scripts here. Another place you can find existing scripts is on our Materialized Scripting Community website. Here you will find our expert scripters post some interesting scripts that might be exactly what you're looking for or have pieces that you need for your workflow. This is also where you can ask questions to our experts or upload your script that you'd like to share with us or the rest of the scripting community. Finally, one more helpful tool for scripting in Mimics and Thrematic is our scripting guide. There is one for Mimics and one for Thrematic. For Mimics, this can be found under the Help tab and looks like this. For Thrematic, it's also under the Help tab and looks like this. Let's say you'd like to wrap your part using scripting. You can search for it in the guide and find out what it should look like as well as an example and what the parameters look like in the scripting format. This is where your copy-paste skills will really be tested. If you're a copy-paste pro, then guess what? You're a scripting pro in Mimics and Thrematic. Now that you know where to go, let's get you set up with Python and tie it to Mimics and Thrematic. If you go to the scripting guide for Mimics, you will find the whole section on how to install Python step-by-step. -step. So first, go to this link here and make sure to download the version 3.7 point whatever. Also make sure you download the 64 executable installer. Once you run the installer, it'll ask you to identify the folder location. Make sure to use this location for easier access. Once you're done with the installation, make sure to tie that folder location to both Mimics and Thrematic under their preferences scripting section. So it can locate the Python program. Finally, we're going to want to install some packages and other helpful items that we'll later use while scripting. The first one being this auto-completion capability where if you do choose to type your scripts out rather than copy-pasting from the existing scripts, this will help to auto-fill the rest of that line of code you're typing. This file can be found in this location. So I'll go to that folder and copy it. I'll then head over to that folder location we've been using during the installation and go into the scripts folder and paste that file here. Now we're ready to install all our packages. So let's open the command prompt from our Windows search and change that folder location to that scripts folder we've been using. To do that, we'll first type CD, then copy that folder chain and paste it here, and hit enter. Now that our command line has changed to that scripts folder, we can install all the packages we have in that folder. To install packages, we're going to want to type pip install, and then the package name. So the first one is that autocompletion file. Let's copy that name and paste it here, and then hit enter. I've already imported this, so that's why I get this message, but you should get a successfully installed message after it's done loading. Next, we're gonna wanna import the rest of the packages like NumPy. So again, pip install, 
and then Nanti, and hit enter. Here are a few of the most common imports you'll potentially use during your script. So go ahead and install all of these in the same way. Of course, there are a bunch of other packages and you will know what you need at the top of every script. So let's say I want to use this benchtop script. I need to make sure I have all these installed before I can use it. Import Trematic is always going to be at the top of any Trematic script, but you do not need to install this in the command prompt. Also, you typically will not find an import mimics line for mimic scripts. It's mainly just in Trematic that needs the import Trematic. And now you're ready to go use scripting in mimics and Trematic, as long as you have that module in your license. So let's go ahead and open up an example. From the script tab, I'll use the toggle editor to view my entire script. This script is based on an existing script I found from the community website that I saved or copy pasted. In the existing script, it wants us to use this cranial plate and this cylinder to punch holes through it. However, my application involves punching holes along a mitral annulus to create suture holes when I go to 3D print this model for physicians to practice on. So my goal here is to change this existing script that does mostly similar steps that I need, but apply it to my application with the mitral model and hopefully get something that looks like this. As a best practice, it's always important to really understand the script that you're using to know what you need to change in it by writing out a pseudocode of what it's performing. Basically what I mean by pseudocode is just list out step-by-step step what the code is doing and what parts it's using in those tools. So for this example, you'll see that first step is to import Trematic. So step one, import. Then it will start looking for the parts that are in my project and give it a name. So step two, being finds the parts. Then it asks the user to indicate four points and you'll see there's a for loop here. So that means for each point, it will create that point, fit a normal to that point based on the part, create a plane based on that normal and origin point, move the cylinder to fit that plane location then deletes the plane, duplicates the cylinder, hides both cylinders, and then does that Boolean subtraction. And so here's my pseudocode of all those steps. Now, how do I change this to match my application? Well, the first step, import, that's good. Finds the parts, I want it to find my mitral model. So we're gonna need to make sure to change that step. For the number of points, I typically will need more than four points for my suturing. So let's say maybe six points here. Fits the normal to the plate, but we want it to our mitral model. And then everything else is good up until the Boolean subtraction where we need to subtract the model instead of uh, the plate. So now let's head back over and actually play this script and make sure that it's doing exactly what we expect. And you want to keep your eye here on that logger. So it's asking us to place those four points. So I'll place one here, one here. And once I'm all set, you will see it says done executing script. And it looks like it did do what we were expecting. However, did you notice it didn't create a duplicate part? It kept the same name. For my application, I want to make sure I have an original just in case I want to go back before I created those holes. So let's make sure to add that step in our pseudocode. So here's our pseudocode for the mitral script. You'll see we'll have all of those changes and I want to make that duplicate before we do any of these steps and work off of the duplicate model. For the sake of time, I'll go ahead and just pull up my modified script, but you'll see that I've changed 
everything that we've talked about where I've also added this duplicate step, hid the original, and then everything else later on is using the duplicate of the model. So for this duplicate step, I just copy pasted that from down here. And so really I didn't have to type anything other than the name of my model. Let's run it and make sure it's been changed properly and does exactly what we'd like it to do. Make sure to keep your eye on that logger to check for any error messages or for your print messages telling you you're all set. And ta-da, here's our model and we still have our original as you can see here. Of course, there are other ways to pattern along a curve and other ways to make those holes. So I will leave that part up to you if you'd like to change the script to all run automatically rather than ask for your input on points. Please let us know if you have any questions about the scripting module, Python itself, or any of the content we talked about in this video. We are more than happy to help if you run into any issues or questions as you set up and use scripting in Mimics and Threematic. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope scripting will help you in speeding up and optimizing your workflow. Thanks for watching. Bye.